everybody, how's it going? It's Jamie, the Crafty DIY Guy. I am back and I have got a haul for you today that I'm so excited about because I finally was able to go to Pop Shelf and oh my gosh. I have literally been stalking Pop Shelf on their Instagram page forever. And I'm like, when are you coming to Georgia? 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 Because a lot of their stores are in Tennessee right now. Or at least that was the closest one to me. And uh, and then I, I got tired of stalking them, I guess. And <laughs> I um, just happened to see one of their stories and uh, somebody commented, or it wasn't a story, I'm sorry, it was a post on Instagram. And somebody commented like, oh my God, the new store in Morrow, Georgia. And I was like, <laughs> What? Because that's like 30 minutes away from me. And I was like, er? And I literally, like the next day, went to the store. I had to work all day. And then after work, I went to the store. And um, oh my God, y'all. So for those of you that don't know what Pop Shelf is, Pop Shelf is a part of the Dollar General uh, family or the, the Dollar General Corporation. And uh, Pop Shelf is kind of targeted towards like an upper end clientele, I guess. And um, I'm, I'm saying that based on their store and just how amazing the store was. Y'all, they had crafts. They had some like marketplace stuff, which is kind of like snacks and drinks and uh, things like that. They had household goods. They had makeup. They had home decor off the chain. They had, I think I said crafts already. They had a home and garden. I mean, they literally had a little bit of everything. It kind of feels like a upper end five below to me. But then when you go actually in the store, things are more than $5 for sure. Um, I, I think the most expensive thing I saw and I tried to kind of keep a mental note was like $20 and that was for a Bluetooth speaker. And then... Um, Again, I found some really, really cool stuff. Now, I didn't look at everything because I, I, I'm I, old and I don't really need a lot of stuff. <laughs> so I didn't, um, you know, there were some stuff that I really wanted to buy that I didn't buy because I just don't have a need for it. However, I found lots of other stuff. So um, rather than me rambling along, let's get to that. But before I do, of course, thank you to my subscribers, my long-termers, you know, I call you guys my OGs. I appreciate you so much. I'm so excited about this haul. Like I'm, I'm having a hard time breathing. And uh, if you are brand new to the channel, welcome, of course. Hopefully you'll become a subscriber. And then lastly, if you are brand new because YouTube recommended the channel to you, thank you, YouTube. I appreciate that. And uh, all right, let's get started. This is just for a prop because I wanted to make sure that they had some shout out. And uh, I'll probably, oh, I don't know where to start. I just don't know where to start, honestly. It's 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 so good, y'all. It's so good. Um, all right, I'm just gonna start with this bag because it's a heavy bag. Yeah, oopsie. And I have stuff falling down. That bag's really heavy. Okay, again, pop shelf, they're finally here. Um, so the first thing I grab, I'm a sucker for a cheese board, a charcuterie board, any kind of plating that you can do to make your charcuterie board beautiful and they had these gorgeous gigantic cutting boards that are like charcuterie boards cheese boards um it's a wood platter any guesses on how much this was it was five dollars and look it's got that cool handle where you can carry it. I'll poke my finger through there now. You can hold it. Like if you're bringing this stuff out to the table, like I am so excited. I'm just gonna make myself a charcuterie board just so I can eat off of this. And again, $5, y'all. It was $5. Um, I'm gonna put it over there. And it's pretty. Look how pretty it is. Y'all, this is gonna be a long video. I'm telling you right now, cause I'm rambling. But look how beautiful that is. Like, and they had um, a couple different sizes and they had another one too that I, I did grab. So I'll show you that. Um, in the, uh, oh, that's funny. All right, I got it. Something came apart from the other one, but it's okay, because I know where it's at. All right, in the craft section, they had these stars and uh, I think they were a dollar. And um, the stars are made of styrofoam. But how fun would those be for a DIY project? 
and I love that there's different sizes on them. Um, I thought about honestly um, putting a skewer in them and putting them on a wood base and uh, painting them because if you paint styrofoam, you can do it if you put a coat of chalk paint on here first and then you can use spray paint on it or you could just use chalk paint. And um, creating like some really cool home decor type stuff for 4th of July that could look really cool on a tiered tray or anything, again, Super stoked about those. Um, talking about trays, um, this is by Plaid, and it is a scalloped wood panel. And um, I think it was maybe $3 or $5. And um, the receipt's in that bag somewhere. And speaking of receipts, remember to scan those into Fetch Rewards because receipts work for places like Pop Shelf as well on Fetch Rewards and you can get gift cards. Um, there'll be a link below if you're not familiar with Fetch Rewards. Definitely check it out. Okay, so this wood tray or this wood platter, right? I loved this so much and um, you know, it's pretty thick, but what I really liked about it was how it's cut out like that. And then I, as soon as I saw it, I immediately thought, very cool farmhouse tray. If I can find the right kind of handles for this, I think this could be a gorgeous, gorgeous tray. Paint it like white and then maybe age it a little bit with some antiquing wax and then do some handles on it. This would be a gorgeous coffee table tray. And I thought even painting it maybe black, like there's a lot of different ideas going through my head. I saw that as soon as I walked in the door and I was like, I need this, where is it? And um, <laughs> it, was, it was good. All right, this is the uh, part that fell off from the other part. So I'm gonna pull this out in a minute. Um, okay, um, 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 um. Okay, next one. And actually, this is what came off of here. So talking about wood or trays for cheese boards and stuff, they had this gorgeous, I'm gonna cover up the price, this gorgeous slate tray, right? Love this. And it has these markers on it that you stick into your cheese that are also slate that you can write on with a chalkboard pen or pen, is it chalkboard pen, chalkboard pencil? I don't know what it is. But it's, this is slate, like this is slate. This is a thin piece of slate and it's, it's got the rough edges. It, it's super cool. It's got a, a hole there for you can, you can hang it if you want to like, or put, I think it'd be really cool with a leather strap or something on it to help you carry it. But again, this thing was $8, $8. And uh, I was super excited about that. That layered with that other wood tray for the charcuterie board, that would be amazing. Um, uh, they had like in their marketplace, they had these drinks that I'd never seen. And uh, it's a company called um, AHA. And um, I think that's how you say it. And this is a orange grapefruit flavor. And then this one is a blueberry pomegranate flavor. And um, I thought this one would be really good with some bourbon. And I thought this one would be really good with some vodka. So, um, or just plain. And uh, of course, you know, you can drink them plain. And um, I think they were like a dollar each. I think, no, these were two for $3. And uh, they're pretty large, you know, they're 16 ounces. So again, just something fun, something to try, you know, a little tasty treat on the way home. All right, they have candles at Pop Shelf and they have really good prices on their candles. Um, I actually bought two of these and they're the big jars, kind of like you'd see it like, um, what's a Yankee Candle Company or um, Bath and Body Works. These were $5, $5 a piece. This is a mahogany antique wood. It's leafy greens, rich spices, and natural wood that um, kind of make up the candle. I don't wanna knock the other one off. And uh, it's a double wick, which I think is super cool. And it smells so good. It smells so, so good. And they had, they had just tons of scents in candles. And they had, like, this was $5. And they had some that were $3. And they had, like, I mean, just, all over the board. It was crazy how yummy. It smells so good, I can't wait. I should actually have that up there and should have had it burning for you guys. But um, again, super, super fun, love that. All right, that is uh, two of 
three bags. This next bag has got some big stuff in it. This I went insane for. And now I'm gonna go back this weekend and I'm gonna get the larger version of this too because these will look amazing on the front porch. And um, it is a plastic pot, right? It's a good size pot. But what's cool about it, check this out, it comes with a stand. It comes with a stand. And this is like a fancy, you know, like metal stand. Again, how easy is that? Pops right in. It's gonna make this plant stand, this planter, this plastic planter look so much more elevated. And then they also had a larger one with the metal stand. And then they had some smaller versions and some larger versions that had a wood stand. And I really want the wood stands. And uh, I may even take this one back and exchange it for the wood one. But um, again, super, super cool. And uh, I just love this. It's deep. It does not have drainage holes in it, which I think is also a plus because if you wanted to turn this into a fountain, you could. But there are the holes where you can poke them if you need to to make you know holes in there for drainage. Um, I'm, I'm excited about this. I mean, this is nice enough that you could put in your living room or, you know, in your dining room or bedroom or wherever because it's got that great stand on it. And uh, this was $10, which again, I did not think was bad at all. I think the largest wood one might have been $30. And um, I, I didn't want to spend that much on it. So uh, I didn't get it, but I, I keep thinking about it. So it means I might go back and get it. Um, <laughs> This I saw immediately and loved and thought that this would be such a cool fruit basket. And uh, you know, my kitchen is kind of an industrial modern kind of a kitchen. And uh, like they had this bowl here, basket bowl, I don't know technically what it, what it is, but um, like, it, I guess it's a decorative bowl, but because it will let air circulate through there, like you can totally use this as a fruit bowl. And it is really, really nice. <coughs> excuse me, but um, it was $6. Again, super, super cool. Really, really loved this as soon as I saw it and knew. It looks like it's got a little bit of gold hints on it. Do you guys see that? Like you can kind of see it there. So I don't know if that's just the light or what. I'm gonna open one of these drinks because I have a little, a little tickle and then we'll get into the other. Ooh, that's yummy. All right, sorry about that. Um, here is the last bag. It's got a lot of stuff in it. And um, again, just really cool, like home decor and office stuff and toys even for kids. Like I was shocked and it's so well displayed. The store is open. You walk through the aisles and you can actually get down the aisles. The employees were so nice. Um, there were so many good, good, good things about the store. And what was cool about it is that it's all self-checkout. There are people there that will assist you and help you with bagging and stuff, but self-checkout, which I thought, again, was super cool. Okay. Um, in the craft side of the, of the store... Um, I found this oversized map of the United States, which I thought would be really, really fun to do on a DIY. And um, I've got a, an idea for like a 4th of July thing maybe with that. And then um, for my closet, they had these cedar rings that will just hook right over your hanger. And uh, again, I thought that these were super cool. By the way, the, the United States plaque, I think this was like a dollar. Maybe it was $2.00. Um, these were $3.00, I do remember that, and it's 24 of the rings, and they literally just sit over your, sit over your hanger. You know, my house is a little older, and um, the, you know, they can get a little musty sometimes in the closet, so this is going to help with that. And uh, I love the way cedar smells. Um, these were some milk chocolate truffles that I grabbed because I thought that a friend of mine might like these. She has a birthday coming up, so... Maybe she'll get them. Maybe I'll eat them before and <laughs> she won't get them. The other thing that I grabbed, and I've seen this at Dollar Tree, it's this charcoal powder for whitening your teeth. And um, 
I could use it. So I am going to give this a try and see how this works. It was a dollar. Um, more snacks. This is like a butter toffee mix kind of a thing. Um, I like to take that kind of sweet, salty, and mix it with... <clears throat> Excuse me, all. I'm so sorry. Mix it with things like uh, wasabi peas or something like that to kind of give it a little spice. And um, again, um, this thing I saw, I immediately had to have this. It looks so cool. It goes really, really well with my kitchen. It's made by Glad, the same people that make like the trash bags and everything else. But um, it's a bottle opener, but it's black and it has the wood handle. How beautiful is that? Like, I loved it. And oh look, here you are. And with my kitchen being an industrial kitchen, like, hello, this is perfect for that. And uh, that bowl, oh my God, that bowl. I think that by the way was like $3. Um, and then in the bag here, what's remaining. So I like the tic-tac-toe games and things that everybody's making, but when I saw this one and saw the price point, I was like, yeah, I could get that. And then if I want to DIY it, I will. But it's a tic-tac-toe game, something for the coffee table. It's got that wood grain. It's got the black and white. It's already in a tray and it was five bucks. So I grabbed it and um, you may end up seeing me do a DIY with this thing at one time. But for right now, I'm leaving it as is because I really did like it for my coffee table. And... Um, I've got like three more things. Um, these are journals. So I take a lot of notes and uh, they were $3 a piece. And uh, I take a lot of notes and I like to have one for kind of work life and one for daily kind of DIY stuff. And uh, this one is going to be for the work life because it's, you know, it's, it's just, it's standard issue. It's your straight, you know, kind of lines. And uh, I can write a lot of things. For me, writing things down keeps my brain working the right way and keeps me focused. Um, and then for the fun DIY side, I thought I had to get a little blingy. So I bought this glitter silver one. And uh, again, this will just kind of be my to-do list and you know my calendar of sorts. It has the same kind of lines on the inside of it. And again, they were $3 each. And uh, I mean, they're just fun, you know, like it's fun. Oops, I just dropped it. But, uh, and then the last thing I grabbed, which I don't, I don't really need. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I'll find a place for it. Maybe it'll go up there actually on this space that I'm seeing on the wall. Um, again, so cute. Gosh, so cute. Check that out. Like it's this great like house looking shelf, but then it's got this great drawer in it. This is kind of the more industrial looking one, but then they also had one that was all white. That would have been very farmhouse. They had another color, I believe, as well. This True Living brand, I think, is their brand. And uh, I am here for it. I am telling you, it is great. They had the best pillows and knickknacks. And they had some small, like, really cute framed art. Oh, this is adorable. They had some really, really fun stuff. And I thought, all right, this is cool. I love this. I love this so much. If I had space for it in my bathroom, I would put it in my bathroom for sure. But love that, first of all. And, you know, you could easily, if you wanted to, flip this around and put a pole of a different kind on the front here. I actually think I have a pole that would be really cool on this. And uh, again, like how cool is that for $10? Oops, dropped something else. Um, it was $10. So altogether I spent um, 80, it was like 80 something dollars, but then when you uh, add the taxes and stuff, it was closer to 90. But again, totally in love with everything. I want to go back. Traffic going to this particular store is a nightmare. So, and then last night I decided to go at like 5.30 in the evening, which didn't help. But um, it wasn't a horrible drive at all to get there. And um, there was a Dollar Tree in the same complex. There was lots of other shops in the same complex as well. So I would say two thumbs up for Pop Shelf. I really, really loved it. I enjoyed everything about the store. And uh, 
I felt like I was going through there like, oh my God, I need this. Oh my God, I want that. And uh, I need to come back again and like go where there's a little more of a woosah, a little more of a, you know, a little more of a because now I've experienced it and I know what I can go and get. And uh, yeah, their seasonal stuff too, y'all. Oh my gosh, they had some Valentine stuff that was off the chain. And I can only imagine that for Easter when that stuff starts rolling in, there's going to be a lot of really cool stuff here. So I'm excited. It opened in January of 2021 and now it's February. So they, they got me by a month, but um, they're gonna get me in the store now on the regular. So if you have one, check out Pop Shelf. And if you don't have one, stock them on Instagram like I did. And uh, hopefully they'll be opening stores in your neighborhood or in your area soon because they are opening stores like crazy from what I heard from one of the employees. And uh, they're opening more in the Georgia area as well. So maybe there'll be one like close to me, but, um, but 30 minutes is still close for Atlanta. So anyway, all right guys, take care, bye-bye. <laughs>